Hey there guys, welcome back to SnowRunner. I'm MJ Haggis. I'm still in the Tega and I have the two lots of planks in the back. I did pick them up okay, no problems there. And because we still got the planks, we're going to do the task wooden bridge. It requires those two wooden planks. So it makes logical sense to continue with that. I've set some waypoints and this is the way we're going to try and go. So it's along the railway line, which we know we can do, but if you can see if I'm not in the way, yeah. We go up into this shaded area. We've not been up here before. Don't even know if it's passable. And then back down again. Hopefully get down onto that road and then down to drop them off at the wooden bridge. That's what I'm planning to do. Whether that's how it works out, still anybody's guess. So, without much more talking, let's get the wheels a-rocking. I just made that up. Yeah. I hope you're all doing fine, especially our friends in America who are getting battered by the Hurricane Ian down in Florida. Hope you guys are all safe. Right, beautiful morning. See if we can get up onto those tracks again. Let me. Go on, up you get. Oh, kinda. Now I need to get back off again. Ooh. I did try to get off. I've just realised the second set of planks, even though I put them on the trailer, I haven't actually packed them. Oh dear. Okay, let's just do that now before I get further along and forget. There we go. All packed. That's a more healthy speed. You can get along there quite easily once you're up on them. Maybe the fat tires do help a wee bit there. All right, we're going up there to the left. This is probably a route more suited to a small scout vehicle, but. Ah well, we are about to find out. Obviously I could have gone through the village. Instead of going this way, we could have gone up over the hill, you can see the mouse, and then turned left and gone through the village that way. We know you can do that. This is more interesting, you know, opening up every route. See what's up here. Are we going to make it up or over? Yes, we are. There's the road there as well. Kind of. We're going to go this way. If we can. If I can get turned. Use a wee winch. No, I might be fine. Might be fine. It's going to winch to a tree just to help me around the corner, but I think we'll be fine. And yes, we are. It's a muddy old route. I thought it might have been a bit more dry track style, just because the water would run off the hill. Through, yes. I suppose I could cut down there if I really needed to. Now, the road or tracks clearly go off there. I've set the waypoint 103 metres away. But what if you went this way to the left? Let's look at the map briefly. If I cut down there, it's kind of going to lead me back to the same spot. So I don't see the point. There seems to be a trailer there, though. So I'll put the waypoint 54 metres. Let's look to the left at 54. Oh, there's a trailer there. Prototype exploration unit. Huh. I had no idea that was sitting there. Pardon. Yeah. 
Station. Okay, forgive my pronunciations. I'm fluent in two languages. Fluent. Yeah, fluent in two languages. Scottish and gibberish. More gibberish than Scottish. But where's that trailer? Okay, that's just an aesthetic trailer. It's a bus stop. There's the prototypes uh, exploration unit. Well, there you go. Who knew that was there? Did you? Anybody there? Curia? Did you know that was there? A wee pickup point. I would have found it when I eventually got around to using that pickup point, but you know, it was more exciting when you find it unexpectedly. If I had gone that other route, yeah, it just looks like a muddy version of what I've just done, so why would you go that way? I don't know. Come on, up you get. This would have been a, a useful trailer, maybe, to have left through in the nature reserve, just for any other jobs that require picking things up from the other side of the map. But maybe I'll leave it if I ever get a chance in the future. OK, so there's another wee route you can go down and off to the left if you see right around there where the mouse is. Hmm. But we're going to go down the hill and straight ahead. Nothing else up here. A wee look at the camera. My beautiful morning's turned into a misty, rainy morning. I feel like I'm back home in Scotland. But what I'm pleased to say is, clearly you can get through that way. That was well worth it. I'm going to go straight on, I think. Sorry, tree. A dead tree. We are in. Let's get this opened up. Two bridges in two episodes. How awesome. Almost as rickety as the other bridge. Thanks a lot. Now we don't have to drive through this scrapyard to get to the factory. Ooh, you're very welcome. 7,250 cash and 640 XP. Okay, let's put the engine off. Go. Nope. So you don't need to go through the scrapyard to get to the factory. Nope, yeah, well, I'm not going to argue with that. That looks perfectly correct. Next job. So that is Wooden Bridge. We're going to jump through into the other map. I did set something up. So, let's jump through. And the task is Light Rock Fall. Start tracking that. When I was... If you watched the previous ones, I tried coming up here with the Paystar Harvester. That went badly wrong due to a rock fall. Here. So the task is we need to drop off a trailer there. And the trailer, if I can move my mouse across the screen, is this one here that we've seen a few times when we've come around this bottom road. Come around here, you can see that trailer stuck. And I had the crane, the Tega crane. Is that Tega? whatever one we had with the crane and I brought it oh it's the Voron Grad that's right the Voron Grad that was over here with the pipes that I took over there to activate the mission blah 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 I have brought it back and I've parked it kind of in the mud here so the it's not ideal it just happened to be the only vehicle that was going to be suitable let's jump into that we're going to hopefully fish that trailer out of the water it may or may not work I may end up getting stuck myself. I need further rescue, but let's, let's not jinx myself. So we're going to try and get the trailer out. Here we are. Trailer's over there, and I kind of bogged in here, but there's a tree nearby. Should we need to inch to it? Engine on. We definitely can't reach it. Oh, we can reach it. Oh, that makes it so much easier. There we go. Okay. Clearly I hadn't tried that before and I parked up because otherwise it wouldn't have dropped out there there. That's going to save us a lot of trouble because I was going to drive forwards and try and maybe use a crane to, to grab hold of it, but 
need to now. Let's put everything on and let's start reversing. Hopefully it'll come round this tree stump. Let's push him in. Come on. Nice. Okay, that was going to get deep there. Okay, let's back it up some more. Right, get out of here. Let's have a look behind me. Where am I going? Oh, I'm going into the nasty stuff. You can see where I came down here. There's my tracks right there. And that's how I want to get back out. I'm going to release that and try and get turned. The crane on this is not as good as it was in an earlier episode. I think it was in the PTS when we had it on the Zix. The Zix 605R is way taller than this thing, so those little support legs, the little um, anchors, are quite low to the ground in this one. And he catches on every root. Try not to tip over, that would be bad. Now, can we reach him still? Yes, we can. Okay, this is going remarkably well so far. Clearly that's jinxed me completely now, but I'm okay with that. Keep reeling them in. Come on. Come on. I think what I'll do is I'll just leave it with the winch, because when you attach it to the back, it can cause you a few more problems. And you can see where I came... Oh. You can see where I came through the mud here. It is almost super mud. So I'm going to head straight for the road. And that tree is down there in case I need a winch point. Be difficult since I'm using the winch for the trailer. But there's that thick, horrible mud. I can barely move in it. Let's pull the trailer a little bit further. get out. Oh yes we can. Oh that's horrible stuff. I thought that was going to be most of the episode, me just getting that trailer out, but hey, we're on, oh, we are on the move. Find it. Oh no 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 no. Okay, release the trailer and let's attach a winch. That tree over there. Now I feel a bit more confident. Come on. Walkies. Oh. Oh, he's lying down. Are you tired? Come on. Up you get. Where are you going? Should really set some more waypoints. Come on, get on your get on your feet. Come. Oh. Okay. Get up now. I'm gonna have to drag you the whole way. I also feel like the, the legs are again they're caught on something because I can't move. Okay, let's ditch that and get another tree. Get me out. Oh, there we go. Suddenly springs out of the mud. I'm going to try and correct him and get attached properly. I think it, it just feels wrong dragging it. Okay, that didn't go as planned. I know what we can do. This doesn't work. Nothing will. Pull it round. Coming round. That's more. Take it. Now we'll try and pull them onto his wheels. So it's exactly how I intended it to work. I'm surprised it did. Now we need to cancel the crane and connect the winch. 
going to get him out and then I'll reattach properly. Come on. There he goes. Let's go properly. Straight into that tree in the mud and I can't do anything about it because it hasn't despawned. There it goes, it's despawned now. Sure, this Voron Grad will be very pleased to get rid of that crane. But I want to go over the bridge, don't I? Just created a bridge, we may as well use it. Turn, turn. But you hear it when it just goes straight on when you're trying to turn exactly like that. Ain't gonna turn. We'll use a tree. Oh, even better when you go forward when you do that. There we go. The Haystar Harvester, I did get back to the garage, as you'd expect, without any problems. And I'll bring it out again, but with the super monster tires, just to show that off to you guys. It is ridiculous. The thing is about twice as wide as it was. find a suitable task for him and we'll, we'll use him again. I did say I had other mods to show you and I do intend to, if I can get this dropped off quite quickly, I'll jump back to the garage and I'll show you the paste art and I'll show you what else I've got that might be of interest to you. I don't want it to become a modding channel where I just show off mods because there's plenty of other top YouTubers that do that kind of stuff. However, if there's a a mod that I really like. Um, I am going to try and use it and use it instead of just showing it off. I want to use it in a task. Do so you see it in a normal working environment? Come on. Not far to go now. As much as I would like to leave this truck on this map as a an extra vehicle. Where do I want to go? I want to go up through that bit there. I want to get him back and get the crane off. Right, the poor farmer's going to be raging at me. I'm going to destroy another bit of his fence. Blow it down with the horn. Nope. Too late. Yeah, that destroyed more than I thought. As you can see, I put that thing that I crashed into, I put it right back, fixed all the fence. You wouldn't even know I'd been here. I'm good like that. Oh, there it goes. Rockfall is clear. So we'll take something up and round there. Maybe we'll maybe bring out a scout vehicle and send that up and round. Anyway, in the meantime, 2,250 cash for that and 280 XP. And it says, not sure which surprised me more. Them actually cleaning the rockfall out that fast or our trailer still is where we left it. Either way, you've helped us a great deal. Welcome. What trailer is he talking about? Um, let's, I'm going to back him out, it's ready for his, his return to the garage, I'll do that later on. Oh, he stumped, didn't even see it. 
engine off. There we go. Hey, now, we're not doing excursion. Ignore that in the top right corner. Step still here. Yeah, let's go back to the garage. Garage opened. Might have actually brought the pace star out with the big fat tires on it already, ready to show you. Or it might be in the garage. A day's passed. My memory's shot. Let's quickly look at the map. Oh no, yeah, I did bring it out. Let's look at this guy first. Look at those wheels. Is that not just utterly ridiculous? Let's go for a quick drive and I'll show you what he's like. I mean, he's no different really, but I'd imagine the stability is way better now. Let's try and find a wee hill that I can try and lean him over on. It's not too far away in case I need to get covered. Let's go up here. All wheel drive on, diff lock on. I oh, see that, I reckon that would have tipped it over there. Where else have we got? Down here. The trees if I need to get repaired or recovered by another vehicle. This could be bad. Look at the stability, that would have definitely put him over without those tires. So, if, that, if you like this kind of stuff guys, get this truck, it is super awesome. I actually got a surprisingly good turning circle. Look at that, okay, a wee bit of clipping through with the tires there. But, if you're prepared to forgive that kind of graphical glitches, this thing will do the job probably better than the Kiki more. It's super fast in that high ratio. I just, I can't see her quick enough. But, oh, I'm not even going to make it through that gate, am I? Now, one other thing. I did make a, a, a mess of putting the winch on it, just to show you, put the engine off. Engine is off, and I can still use the winch, so that was my bad, definitely. Mr. Buses has brought out a definite fun mod there. Okay, back in the garage with you. I'll retain you. Next truck that might be interesting. I hope you haven't seen it already, but if you have, You'll know exactly what I'm going to be doing with it. Where are you? Well, I haven't even bought them yet. Truck store. Mods. These three here. Two of them are very similar. But the main one I want to show you is this the 8x8 concept. So we'll purchase him and deploy him. Okay. That's the base model. Uh, I'll show you quickly what he's got. Engine-wise, three choices. Gearbox, well, you know what I like. I like the big, fancy, multiple gears off-road. I'll quickly put that on. Suspension. Stock. Raised. And raised with a strong set of springs. So we'll go for that. Tires doesn't really matter. Not many to choose from. They're excellent for all three categories. 52 inch. We'll fit them just because winter ones with chains. Yeah, so no studs on them. They're the old fashioned chain style. That's cool. Winch doesn't really matter. Advanced offline winch. So I presume that's similar to the autonomous. We'll give it a try. Diff lock various. Oh, we've got shafts and engageable, both already ticked. Okay, spare wheel up there. Uh, I don't know if that'll affect anything in the background. No, it's a cradle for it, so we may as well. Snorkel. 
Uh, that one up there. Yep, let's have that. Not expensive. Add-ons. Bridge frame. This is the one... Well, let's show you the others first. So you got your flatbed. Sideboard. Saddle high, saddle low. That's not a huge amount. But this is one of interest. I don't think there's much else miscellaneous. Then is like aerials, if you like that kind of add-on stuff. If you want to try it out for yourselves, I'll let you figure out the rest. Get out of here. Now, we've got this weird attachment here, but that's not it. You need a trailer. So, where's our trailer store? Ah. Typical. We're in a garage with a trailer store that's down the road. But this will give you a chance to see it on the move. It doesn't have rear wheel steering like the Phoenix. Don't believe. No, nope, they're all in line still. Sounds quite good. Who's the horn? Oh yeah, that's that's a meaty sounding horn. Not waking up the neighbours. Again, you've got always on. I want to go to the right here. Always on all wheel drive, and the diff lock is optional on the low gears, so it's not too bad. I'm going to go this way because I always tip over going the other way. I think this would be a, a clearly military base, so it's going to be pretty capable. High ratio. The difference in high ratio from this, from the Paystar Harvester of Mr. Buses, this is much more controllable with just keeping your foot to the floor. I'm quite comfortable with that. It steers quite quickly, which is nice. I'm going to try and just cut over it. Split that high bit. This seems to do less damage if I do it that way. Got a sloping front, is that? Yeah, sloping front, so that'll probably go over um, like big ruts and other obstacles quite nicely now. Only four gears in auto in that mode, so fairly standard. Oh, there's the scout trailer, the fuel one. I dragged it all the way back, dropped it off there. I need to get it turned, but I need a scout vehicle to, vehicle to attach to it. Now, let's find the right attachment. Map, so it's not that, obviously, it's not that. There it is. So, RNG, I think that's the name of the guys that make this. TX, the bridge green. You've got a choice, actually. Let's find another one. White, and I think there's one more. I'm tan. All the same, doesn't make any difference. Let's just take the tan one. Who's that? Yeah, it's a bridge building truck. How cool. So, to put it onto your truck, use. So, it's just like anything else. You've got anchors, and you've got your use the thingy. So, we'll use that. And then it's just, for me, it's the Q buttons and the A buttons. So A does that, and Q will lift it. But I need to put the anchors out. Whoa! We're balanced on the back wheels. Let's get the anchors. That's better. Okay, I need to activate that again, I think. You lift it up. And so basically two buttons, Q and A. Can I zoom out any further? Not really. Nice. It's that. Lift the anchors. Let's get it around to the daytime so you can see it. Yeah, that's better. What do you reckon to this, guys? How novel. 
who say you're on a map and you're always getting caught in one little bit outside of a garage or you need to cross a stream or a gully. This is the gadget for you. What I'm going to do is just to test it. Let's go out the garage. I'm going to put it right across this bit that we're always crossing. Let's try it here. Enough away, handbrake on. Anchors out. Use the bridge. So now I'm using E and D. No extensions. What, as far as that stretches out is all you've got. You can, you can bend it slightly. So I'm going to bend it down that way and try and get both ends into the dirt. That might work there. Yeah. Fuck, that might work. Okay, um, and then I will need to detach that. It drops on the ground. Anchors are in. Let's go and turn around and take it from a different angle. So we're going to go in here, I think. See the suspension working. A beautifully modelled truck. Get out of here without getting caught on every tree. Push. On, mouse. Okay, we are out. Let's go and test our bridge out, kind of. If I can get angled correctly. Wee bit wobbly. How good is that? You just leave it there. Go and buy another bridge. Go and put it somewhere else. And if you don't like it there, you can just pick it back up again. Right, let's go and get turned around. Let's pick it back up, and then we'll go and I'll show you the other two trucks. Ooh, it's quite a rubber banding there, didn't I? It bounced off that. Ooh, it was a post and threw me backwards. But I don't think it's overly overpowered. I mean, the truck itself is just a good truck. It's just the add-on is, is quite unique. And you can only attach and reattach from one side where you can see... Oh, I'm on the move. <laughs> Didn't see that coming. It moved in the mud. But clearly, if you put it across something level, that kind of stuff won't happen. But we've still got the uh, the winch, so we can get ourselves back on our wheels. Uh, let's pick a decent tree. That's going to collapse. Go on, up you get. Okay, let's, let's check out his mud capabilities now. Get off the that I'm jammed into. Pull on that tree. Oh no. Okay. The winch don't need that anymore. episodes again it's gone on a little bit longer than I was intending it to but hope you don't mind it's leveled up 
I don't know if this will work. Can we connect? No, we can't. No. Whoop. Go. Anchors down. Bridge on. And Q and A. That looks like a good dip over. Um. Let's disable that and get out that position. Mm -hmm. A little bit more level. But you've got to use a little bit of common sense. Don't do it if you're at a nasty angle. You would not put a bridge out if you were leaning over like that I was there. Still quite stable though, considering what I've just been putting it through. Will it make it up there? Ryan. Oh, I've got the anchors down. Don't forget your anchors, guys. That's a bit better. Okay, that'll do with that. Tell you what, this is going along. I'll show you the other two trucks in the next video that's in the Let's Play. But they're effectively six wheel versions of this with normal back uh, add ons. Nice little trucks, capable. I've never used them for a task yet, so um, it was something maybe we'll do in the future. This was the main one to show you. It's two separate downloads. I will link them in the description. One's a class as a trailer, and then you get this as a pack of all three trucks. If you're interested, give them a try, guys. It's for the PC as far as I'm not sure if these are console ready. Um, I only have this game on the PC, so I can only test definite PC stuff. But guys, if you enjoy this one, thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. That will be appearing about there. Give it a wee click. You'll see me again soon. Bye for now.